Hello everyone, welcome to the Bug Expert channel. In this video, we will talk about solutions for friends who encounter the Steam library not loading or black screen error. This error, which is encountered, usually occurs with the unstable connection, and users may be restricted from using some features in Steam. Of course, we may encounter such an error not only because of this problem, but also because of many other problems. For this, we will try to solve the problem by telling you a few suggestions. Before we show you solutions, we will briefly talk about the forum. You can forward various errors you encounter to the community on the forum portal we have opened. For this, if your problem continues or if you encounter a different problem, you can get a quick response by sharing it on the forum portal. We care about your questions and suggestions. The fact that the Steam program does not run as an administrator can cause us to encounter many errors. If the permission to install the file on the storage is not allowed, running it as an administrator will help us solve this problem. For this, if the Steam application is open in the background, let's close it completely with the help of the task manager. Then let's run the Steam application as an administrator and check if the problem persists. If this suggestion did not resolve you, we can fix the problem by adjusting the port configured for Steam. First of all, if the Steam application is open in the background, let's close the Steam application completely with the help of the task manager. Type Windows Defender Firewall in the Start Search screen and run it. Click on Advanced Settings on the left side of the screen that opens. Select the Inbound Rules option on the left side of the screen that opens and click the New Rules option on the right. Select the Port option on the screen that opens and proceed. Then, let's continue the process by setting the TCP option and pasting the port in the article. Then, let's move forward by selecting the Allow the Connection option and continue by enabling all three features. After this process, let's save the name of the port we created. After successfully performing this operation, let's set the UDP port. In the same way, click on the New Rule option and select the UDP option. After this process, let's give the port name by applying the previous settings in the same way and save the process. After completing the processes successfully, you can check if the problem persists by running the application. Internet connection problems can cause many errors. If you are experiencing slowdown or disconnection in your internet connection, Let's give a few suggestions to fix it. Type CMD in the Start Search screen and run as administrator. Paste the codes in the article in the command prompt window that opens and press Enter. After performing this process, right-click on the Internet icon in the lower right corner and select Open Network and Internet Settings. Click on the Change Adapter Options option on the screen that opens. After this process, right-click on the Ethernet option and reach the Properties window. After this process, Double-click on the Internet Protocol version 4 option and save by applying the settings I showed in the video. After the save process is complete, you can restart the computer and check if the problem persists. Turn your modem off, wait 20 seconds, and turn it back on. During this process, your IP address will change and will prevent various network problems. If the problem persists, let's move on to another suggestion. If the Steam application is out of date, it can cause many connection problems. For this, you need to check whether the application is up to date and which application the game is installed. For this, you can wait for the update request by closing the application completely and restarting it, or you can request an update from within the application. Disable any antivirus program you are using or delete it completely from your computer. If you are using Windows Defender, disable it. Before doing this, close the Steam application completely with the help of the task manager. Let's write virus and threat protection on the start search screen and open it. Click on the manage settings option on the screen that opens and scroll down the menu and click on the managed controlled folder access option. After this process, let's disable the controlled folder access option and come back. Let's turn off the real-time protection that comes up and go down again and click on the add or remove exclusions option. Click on the Add and Exclusion option on the screen that opens, select the folder and select the folders where the Steam application is installed and save.
After the save process is complete, you can run the game and check if the problem persists. Yes, in this video we have provided information on how to fix the Steam library not loading or black screen issue. If you are encountering various errors, you can reach the community with your questions by accessing the forum portal we have opened. By supporting us, we can expand our community. Thank you.